Good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad to see you tonight. Um, I hope you had a wonderful day. Hi, hi, how are you? Hi. All right. Hi, Auntie Mara. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Okay, excellent. Um, okay, now I'm going to hand over to Mr. Kwando. Mr. Hi, Kwando. Auntie Mara. Hi, hi, sweetie. How are you? Fantastic. Over to you, Mr. Kwando, sir. Thank you. Um, we open. Thank you, everyone. Happy, happy, happy Thursday. I hope you had a wonderful day today. So, as you said, for today, opening prayer is from Omuse. It's almost like great. Um, then maybe can, can, can then you pray for us? All right, please pray, Bezalel. Shall we pray? Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you have given us. We thank you for the gift of life. Please help us to be good boys and good girls. Please protect us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you for the prayer. Thank you for the prayer. I, it's not time for Ariel to sing. She's going to sing two songs. Is Ariel here? Yes, she's she's there, Mr. Kwando. I've seen them. Okay.
Bye. Um, are we not getting the health talk from Dava, Mr. Kwando? Uh, okay, the health talk is from Taba. Is he here? Yes, he made provision. So just give us a minute. Evening, friends, and viewers. Welcome to our health talk for tonight. My name is Dabe Zanzibar. Our health talk comes from Jeremiah 17 and 7. It says, Blessed is the man who trusts in God and whose hope is in the Lord. When I am sick, or afraid of trust in God. I knew all he does as make a decision to trust in God. Thank you. Hey. Amen. 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 Thank you very much for the health talk. Thank you very much for the health talk. I'll start doing, I'll start, I learned something new today. Now the songs by the, by the guest family. Sorry if I don't pronounce it properly. Is it the Siana Nakowatz? They're going to give us two songs. Hi, um, are they in, Mr. Kwando? Please repeat, Siana Goa family, I think. Are they in? Yeah, they are here. Oh, okay, yes. Mr. Kwando said you're giving us two songs, please. Oh, we're singing two? Okay. Yes. All right. 
no, no, do like this. Sit like this. Uh huh. Auntie Mara. Right. Are you ready to start? Let's go. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, I worship His holy name. Seem like never before, oh my soul, I worship His holy Name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever may be for me. Let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. I worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my so I worship his holy name. Your rich in love and your slow to end Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep. On singing, ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. I worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, I worship his holy name. Seen I never before on my soul. I worship his holy name. I worship his holy name. I worship his holy name. Amen. The next song we are singing is Joy, Joy, Joy. I got the joy, 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 joy. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay, and I'm so happy, so very happy, I got the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy. So very happy. I've got the Lord Jesus in my heart. I've got the Lord joy, joy, joy. 
Mr. Quando. Okay, thank you. Now we'll have a sermon from Auntie Mara. Thank you very much, Mr. Quando. Um, good evening, everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining us. For those that are joining us for the first time, as is the custom, we have to begin with our theme song. So we will have the Kumanos lead us in the first stanza. The first chorus shall be sung by Mr. Denley. So the first stanza is by the Kumanos. The first chorus shall be sung by Denley. Um, Mufaro shall sing um, it in English, and then Mr. Denny said he's singing in Zulu. Mufaro is singing it in English, and then the chorus shall be sung. The second chorus shall be sung by Mr. Livo. The third stanza shall be sung by Mandisi and Moundly. The third stanza shall be sung by Mandisi and Moundly. The chorus shall be sung um, by Miss Pida and Mr. Brendan. The third chorus by Miss Pida and Mr. Brendan. The fourth stanza. Um, do our guests know the song in any other language our theme song mommy could you help if you know the song in any other language apart from english
for the fourth stanza. The Sia Sia Nagumas. Okay. Okay. I probably not here. Okay. So the fourth stanza shall be sung. Um the fourth stanza shall be sung by Uncle Leaves. The fourth stanza shall be sung by Uncle Leaves. And then the last chorus. Do you now know the song, sweetie? Or not yet? Yes, teacher. Yes, teach. Okay, so you will sing the last stanza, the chorus to the to the fourth stanza. So I'll take it again. The first stanza shall be sung by the Kumalos, the chorus by Denli, the second stanza by Mufaro, the chorus by Mr. Libo, the third stanza by Mandisi and Mondli, the chorus to the st third stanza by Paida and Brendan, the fourth stanza by Uncle Libs, and the chorus by Gebolenkosi. Okay, Gebolenkosi and Owenkosi. All righty, over to you. Safa Hai Peringua Hello. Pam si wo, pam si wo, pam 
Um, thank you so much, everyone, for the powerful singing. I think some people's networks just disappointed, but that's fine. Hopefully, they'll sing tomorrow. All righty. Who remembers what we learned on the first day in the verse? May I have the topic in the... Yes, Mr. Cooper. Okay, I saw your mouth moving and you say choices. Excellent. What was the verse? Genesis. Genesis chapter three. Excellent. Genesis chapter three. And on the second day, what did we learn about? Consequences. 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 Guys, guys. Okay. Consequences. And what was the verse? Galatian. Galatians 6 verse 7, do not be deceived, God is not mocked, whatsoever a man soweth, so shall he also reap. Excellent. And day three, what was the topic? Day three? Controversy. Controversies. Controversy. C. And what was the verse for controversy? Genesis chapter. Chapter three. Excellent. Genesis chapter three, verse fifteen. And I will put enmity between the serpent and the woman and between his seed and her seed. Excellent. And what was our lesson yesterday? And the verse, of course. Um, excellent. Counterfeit. And what was the verse? Sorry? Matthew. Genesis 3 verse 4. Uh -huh. Genesis. Genesis 3 verse 4, which was saying, And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. What did we say the devil would pretend to do? What are some of the things that the devil would do to deceive people? Anyone to just give me? TV. Sorry? TV. Okay, yes, but what would he do? Cut. Pretend to be Jesus. Excellent. He would pretend to be Jesus. Mm -hmm. yes. What else? Yes, Mr. Awa. Sorry? He will risen people up to get and perform miracles. Yes, excellent, excellent. Okay, great. I'm glad you guys remember. So tonight we are on the fifth on the fifth C. And oh gosh, my papers stuck together. Let me just try and remove them. The fifth C, the topic is, um, I hope you can see what's written here. Commander. What's Commander. 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 
Commander C. Excellent. Our topic tonight is Commander C. And I'm going to tell you guys a story. So it so happened that there was a war. And you know, there were two parties that were fighting and the war was intense. And so the commander of one side of the armies now, the commander of one side of the armies told the people that, ah, guys, you know what? The battle is so intense. So to keep safe, I don't want you to go over that fence. There was a fence that was around their camp. And so the commander told them, guys, to keep safe, don't go beyond that fence. Because you see beyond that fence, the enemy will have access to you. And so the commander would tell his soldiers every single day, guys, don't go beyond the fence. Because beyond the fence, the enemy will have access to you. And the soldiers would say, sir, yes, sir. And they would obey. And they obeyed for a while. But one day, there was this young man. Huh? And this young man was so curious to discover what was on the other side. And so he went to the fence. And you know, huh? he just looked around to see if the commander was watching it. Because he couldn't see the commander, he assumed, ah, so no one can see me. And so he looked. And he looked over to the other side. And everything looked so green. There wasn't anything scary. He couldn't even hear bullets. So he didn't assume that the enemy would find him. And he thought to himself and said, ah, does, does the commander really know what he's talking about? I mean, I can see that there's no enemy across the fence. So what if I just go? And so he thought about it and he thought about it. And finally, he just said, uh -uh, I'm just going to go across the fence. And so he tiptoed and tiptoed and tiptoed. And once he was across the fence, he began to run. And he began to look around and he saw beautiful flowers. And he saw so many things. And his mind was just overexcited. He was thrilled. And he then had a gunshot. And he thought to himself and he said, oh no, that's the enemy's gunshot. But now he had wandered so far looking at the grass and everything, he couldn't find his way back. And so when the commander in the camp heard the sound, he knew that someone had escaped. Actually, someone had run away. And now the commander thought to himself and said, my soldiers are not trained well enough to go and save Simon. Simon was the name of the guy who went across. And so if I send any of my soldiers, will they be able to do it? And the commander knew that none of them were as qualified to be able to save Simon. And so the commander thought and thought and thought and thought about it. And he finally went to his army and said, guys, I've decided I am going to go to save Simon. But if the commander went, it meant that if the commander was captured, then the entire army would also be captured and they would lose. And so, you know, this was such a difficult thing for the army to think about. And some of the soldiers said, no, 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 no. Commander C, please don't go, we will go. We are good enough to go. We will go and commander say, say, no, I'm the one and the only one who's qualified to do this. And the soldiers thought about it and it made them so, so sad. And in fact, the president who was in charge of the army, like the commander in chief, loved commander C so much. And so the president thought and said, commander C, is it necessary that you go? And Commander C said, yes, Mr. President, I'm the only one who can go. And so Commander C then had to remove his uniform, the one that he wore as a commander, this one. He had to remove it and he went as a regular soldier because if he went as the commander, he knew that the soldiers from the enemy side would think that, ah, this one is better trained. That's why he's able to win. And so Commander C removed his clothes and he just went in his usual camouflage. 
and he got into the camp and Commander C was tactful and he practiced, he did everything that he had taught the soldier that ran away. He had taught the soldier in school and now he had to do it himself. And Commander C was able to snatch Simon from the enemy and he ran and he ran and he ran and he ran and he took Simon back to the camp. And he said, Simon, I have taken you back so that you obey that you should not cross the fence. If you do it this time around, I can't save you again. And Simon came back and he had a chance to stay in the camp with the rest of the soldiers. You see, boys and girls, the story of Commander C is a story that speaks of a man who was in charge of everything in heaven. And this man was not commander of soldiers alone. He was commander of angels, commander in chief of heavenly angels. But after Adam and Eve sinned, he thought to himself and said, how do I save men? And he went to God and he said, God, I am willing to die for men. And God knew that if Jesus were to come on earth, all of heaven would literally be coming down. And this was such a great risk. But God loved you. God loved Zah so much that he said, it's okay. All of heaven can go down to save Miss Zah, to save Miss Wandi, to save Nandi, Kupa, and Ariel, Jason, Denley, everyone. He then said the commander would come down. And the angels tried to say, Commander, see, it's not necessary, we will go. But Commander C made it clear that the law of God was as sacred as God himself. Therefore, only God could come down and die for us. Boys and girls, the disobedience that Adam and Eve had done needed God himself to come down and die for us, risking that everyone else in the host of heaven would be enslaved. Had Jesus just sinned once, 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 the entire army would have lost. But Commander C said everything I've taught Simon I am now going down to leave. And so Commander C comes down and he says, I want to be a lamb, a lamb that will pay the price for Adam's sin. And this is what Christ does. So no one asked me this. I thought you guys would think about it, that we read on the first day that God had said, in the day thou eatest of the fruit, thou shalt surely die. Yet on the day Adam and Eve ate the fruit, they didn't die. How? Because Commander C immediately became the substitute for Adam and Eve. So the moment, it did not even take time, the moment, it is safe to say even prior to the sin, this had already been put in mind and in plan, that the moment anyone sins. God had said, I will go down. Jesus will come down and die for Mr. Cooper. Now, boys and girls, it is such amazing love that God has for us. And Philippians 2.5, Ephesians 2.5 says, let this mind be in you also, which was in Christ Jesus. So boys and girls, if Jesus was willing to come and die for us, for our sins and put himself a commander, he then just reduced himself to be like us. What more should we do for people who have gone to the side of the enemy? What more should we do for people who have crossed the fence and gone to sin? We should be willing to love them to give them our time, to give them our resources, even sometimes to give our lives. 
Remember when we're learning the great controversy, we said the death of a Christian is a seed. This is what Commander C did and we'll learn more about it tomorrow. But when we are willing to give our lives for others, more people will be brought into the kingdom. Our verse for today is Genesis chapter three, verse 21. Can someone please read Genesis three, verse 21. <laughs> Also for Adam and his wife, the Lord God made tunics of skin and clothed them. Excellent, excellent. Now, where do you think the clothes of the skin came from? Where did the clothes of the skin come from? Yes, Miss Za, your hand is up. From wild animals. Okay, Ms. Zai is saying from wild animals. Thank from you. The story, from the story, you said, I think it comes from when he took off his clothes. He commands the clothes. Okay, Mr. Mr. Kwando is thinking that it came from the commander. Mr. Ipile is saying a lamb. Excellent. From I will read again. Verse 21, listen. It's saying, unto Adam also and his wife did the Lord make coats of skin and clothed him. So these were from an animal, right? And most probably a lamb. So now what we are being told here is, remember, let's go to the book of Revelation 13, verse 8. Let's go to the book of Revelation 13, verse 8. Colossians 13 or 18. 13, 1, 3. Plus 8. Yes. All who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Excellent. So we are told that there is a Lamb that has been slain from the foundation of the world. And this lamb is Commander C himself. Commander C has said that where Adam and Eve should have been naked, where they should have been killed, I want to provide the sacrifice and atonement. So we will learn tomorrow that a system was then put in place for Commander C to be represented. And so today, boys and girls, what Auntie wants you to remember is that Commander C left everything he had in heaven to come and save Auntie Mara, to come and save Cooper, to come and save Wandi, to come and save everyone. And we have to be willing to say, Commander C, thank you. I accept your offering and I want to do the same. I want to save my friends who don't know anything about you. We have to be willing to go out and find our friends who have crossed the fence, who are now in sin. How many of us boys and girls today are saying like, Commander C, although I can't die for all my friends, I want to give my time. I want to give my effort to bring souls for the kingdom of God. Excellent. I see your hands, boys and girls. I am going to pray for us. Let us pray. Thank you, dear Jesus, for your love and your mercy. Thank you for Christ himself, who was the glorious commander of heaven, who came down to say when we had sinned, we did not die, but he gave us a chance to come back and live life. Now, Lord, please help us to accept this sacrifice and to share with our friends what Commander C did for us. Help us to be able to invite our friends to learn more of God and to be able to share our lives as a living sacrifice to you. This is our humble prayer in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise okay. God. Thank you. Amen. Amen.
we've reached amen we've reached the end of our lesson and now i have to give mr kwando his references yesterday mr kwando asked about the 24 elders and i said i would find reference from ellen white so the book that i found reference from was the book the desire of ages the desire of ages i've been reading this book it's a powerful book those that can read feel free to read it but we'll do it for our friday lessons hopefully we'll do it next year once we're done with the great controversy i don't know when we'll finish the great controversy so the desire of ages page 833 mr kwando i hope you're writing down page 833 to 835 this is when we are told from the Bible, it's in Revelations chapter 4 and chapter 5. So just go to your Bibles, the book of Revelations chapter 4. We are trying to answer Mr. Kwando's question on who the 24 elders are and what reference is made to them. So we're going to the book of Revelations chapter 4. And now I want you guys to appreciate that there is division. Um, not bad division. People are still studying about it. So some people in the church think that, like someone in this house used to think that it was people who resurrected and went to heaven with Revelation Jesus. Chapter four, verse what? Chapter four. Okay, I'll give you the verse now, Mr. Akile. Just hold on. I think we'll start from verse four. So there are a number of schools. Some people think that it was those that resurrected with Jesus, but we do know that this falls short of what Sister White tells us and what the Bible says, okay? So that's what we want to understand. Revelations chapter four. Let's start from verse, um, let me get to my Bible. Let's start from verse two. Verse two. Immediately I was in the spirit and behold, a throne set in heaven and one set on the throne mm -hmm. and he who sat there was like a jasper and a stadius a stadius um a satius in fact a stone in appearance and there was a rainbow around the throne in appearance like an emerald Around mm -hmm. the throne were 24 thrones, and on the throne they saw 24 elders sitting clothed with white robes, and they had crowns of gold of gold on their head. Should I stop there? Excellent. Excellent. So thank you so much, Mr. Peter. Now we are being told of these people that are sitting in the throne. And how do we know that they are sitting with God, God the Father on the throne? We are told here, um, if we go down with chapter four, that they were to receive Christ. So this is after um, Christ had died, right? In Revelation, we learned in Revelation 13, verse eight, that he was the lamb slain from the foundation of the earth, but he only dies at the cross later. And so now these people are waiting to receive Jesus from earth. So when Jesus ascends to heaven, it is the 24 elders that are waiting to receive Jesus with God and the angels are not found because they had come to receive Jesus on earth. So what happens now is that the 24 elders are with God and yet Jesus is still down on earth. So it can't be the people that resurrected with Jesus because they only go up after Jesus resurrects and ascends to heaven. So Mr. Kwando, I hope you understand in the book that you read is Desire of Ages, um, page 833 to 835. So Jesus ascends to heaven with other people, yet the 24 elders are already there. Other references will be the story of Job. Remember when the devil goes to when the devil goes to heaven, it said he was among other people, which are thought to be, um, which Ellen White says actually are the elders from the unfallen world. And so the devil goes up with them and he says, I've come from going round about the earth. 
So there would be cancel. Remember, we learned about the word cancel, right? There'd be cancel in heaven where people would seek to, you know, talk about how the, the earth is being ruled and stuff. So this is Mr. Kwando. I hope this answers your question in a nutshell that the 24 elders are 24 representatives from the unfallen worlds. Unfallen worlds means people who have never sinned. They were tempted by the devil, but they overcame, okay? So they didn't sin. And so now they are in heaven and they sit with God and they talk, they have counsel with God. Do you understand, Mr. Kwando? Yes, thank you very much, Auntie Mara. You are welcome, sweetie. So I sent, <laughs> please send me your number so that I can send you the, the paragraph in the book, The Desire of Ages. And then I'll be glad to send it to you on WhatsApp as well. All righty. Yes, Miss Lulu. My number or our mom's number. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I've been given permission. <laughs> That's fine. So I already sent it to your mom's number. <laughs> so it's okay, Mr. Kwando. You can check on mommy's number. All righty, excellent. So today I'll take a few questions, but tomorrow we will start our usual time for crafts. So we'll start at six. So the questions that you give me today, um, I'll address them tomorrow. Tomorrow we are starting at, um, at six, the time for crafts. Oh, and Mr. Ipila sent me a question. It's very simple. Um, I'll answer it tomorrow as well. That's okay. fine, Mr. Ipila. Thank you. All righty. Does anyone else have a question? Me. me. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. That is simply to be me. Okay. Let me see. Please raise your WhatsApp hands so that I see. Was it Ms. Za who said I have a question? Yes, go on, please. No, it was me. So okay, Stanley. go on, Mr. Denby. Uh, my question is why we we always do the, the, the zoom when it's well, when it's when it's seven o'clock, but not six o'clock. Oh, why do we do the Zoom at seven, not at six? Because you guys are going to school. So we just wanted to keep it short. Others are not on holiday. So they have to do their schoolwork and a lot of things. That's why we start at seven. But the good news is tomorrow we'll be starting at six for our usual craft time. So we won't be doing crafts per se, but we'll start at six and have time to welcome the Sabbath. Okay, Mr. Denley. So don't worry. Tomorrow we'll start at six. Okay. okay All right. I'm... Next. All righty. I had a question. Yes, Vidi. My question was, what the soldiers said that what the soldiers were the soldiers saying or oh, they were the one. Or oh, there were the one who were starting to, or they were the one who, or the, or the, or they were saving the person who was out. Yes, the commander was the one who was saving the person who was out. And, and, I, have another question. and I have a question. Okay. My question is, are the 24 elders, are they 24? Yes, they are 24. So I'm meaning 24 people came from here and they didn't seem so they went to heaven. 24 people came from unfallen world, not earth, not earth where we stay here. They came from other places, yes, and they went to heaven, they didn't seem but not from earth, not from the earth that we are staying on. 
You know there are other planets, right? Yes. Um, yes, uh, with giants. Not from planets alone. They might be a different galaxy. We are told that there are so many galaxies. So there is a planet, and the planet is smaller than a galaxy. So Earth is like a planet that's in a galaxy. So there are other galaxies that were created by God, and this is where the people came from. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Miss. Thank you. Uh huh. Next. Uh, if Jesus came to die for us and save us, then why are people dying today also? Okay, so excellent. Sense. Thank you, Mr. Ipile. That's a wonderful question. And maybe I might answer it tomorrow in my presentation. But um, I will take note of it. Why are people dying today? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, Ms. Za. I wonder the 24 hours does Moses? No, Moses is not part of them, but Moses is in heaven. Excellent. So Moses, Moses Elijah, and Enoch are in heaven. Okay. okay. Thank I'm you, Miss. I also have a question. Yes. Um, how was Jesus, how did Jesus change it from being whatever age he was in heaven to being a small baby? What? How did Jesus create Adam? Being a With, grown man. Mm. Mm. Yes. Miss Rulu, how did Jesus create Adam being a grown man? He used dust. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excellent. So Jesus is God and Jesus is the one who created man. So it is within his power himself to become um, a baby as well. Okay. So he simply became a baby. He can do that easily. If angels can use fire, if the devil can get into a snake, can Jesus become a baby? That's very simple. Small things, okay? So God, Jesus is called ex nihilo. He makes things out of nothing. So he can make literally anything and everything, okay? All righty, guys, it's time for us to go. Mr. Ipile, I've noted. Yes. Yes. Can I ask a question? Okay. Uh. Can, can I, what about, why don't we sing a new, a new theme song? Because the theme song is for the week. So next time we have another week, we'll sing a new song. Okay? Okay. All righty. Thank you. All righty, guys. It's time for us to go. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow by the grace of God. and. We are going to have a quarter night of prayer. So I'm Hi. going to send that. I'm going to send that in the group. And what that means is we'll have a program on Saturday from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And I'm sure you guys, you guys have, have been practicing for it as families, those that confirmed that they'd be coming. If there are people here who are not in the WhatsApp group um, who think they will attend, please just text me and confirm so that we give you something to do, even just a song. Okay, so it will be 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And then, and thereafter, I think those are the announcements that I had. So Saturday night, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., you can invite your friends and your older cousins because the adults will be coming as well. So Saturday night is Saturday night is for the family. Everyone is coming. Mommy, daddy, I asked your parents to confirm. Those that texted me, I asked them to confirm. They said they are coming. So everyone is coming. Your mom can come, your dad can come, your sisters, your brothers, your cousins, and everyone can come. Okay. All righty. Um 
Over to you, Mr. Kwando, sir. Mr. Kwando. Uh, we'll now have our closing prayer from Bazale, Bazalim. Is it Bazalim? Or it's Bazalim? I'm not sure. Bazalim. Bazalim. I, I don't seem to see him. Please ask someone else to pray. Okay. And can Lulu pray for us? Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come before the throne of grace. Thanking you for the night you've given us and for another opportunity to come to this room and learn more about you. As we're about to go and sleep, please send your angels to protect us and let no evil come to us. Give us a peaceful and restful night and allow our minds to take in what Auntie Mara has been teaching us, not only today, but for all we present you for giving us the opportunity to also invite our friends to know more about Jesus, I pray all this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 All right. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow at Good six. Night. Okay, see you at six tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.